This is an astonishing theory. Tic Tac UFOs hovering craft swarming US Navy vessels are possibly coming from underwater bases. A stunning 18 second clip allegedly from July 2019 of spherical unidentified craft swarming a US Navy destroyer, the USS Russell, at night had earlier been sent anonymously to filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. The footage was supposedly part of a classified briefing led by the Pentagon into unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAP. That's what they call the UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell claims that some of the mysterious so-called unidentified flying objects captured in grainy images and shown ostensibly swarming U.S. Navy vessels over the years could be coming from the Earth's oceans, underwater bases, that is. Furthermore, possibility that many of these objects are manifestations of transmedium vehicles, which are able to operate both in the air and underwater, has been discussed between U.S. Navy officials. Let me support my in an interview Patreon for account days. since Star. YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is one of such UFOs coming from the ocean into hypersonic speeds into the air taken by US Navy in the Arctic Circle in the 1970s. So uh, now they can, they said, move from one medium, the air, to the next, the sea, with ease, and vice versa. As you would have an embassy in a foreign land, it's possible that there's a congregation or a station or a location underwater where UFOs could be transiting from once they're here, wherever they come from. That is a possibility that UFOs are transi transiting from localized place underneath the water, he said. The Los Angeles-based mixed-media artist believed this theory of such a potential underwater base might be true in relation to the now-famous Tic Tac UFOs and other enigmatic craft captured on footage, footage swarming U.S. Navy vessels over the years. The filmmaker, who in 2015 launched his investigation film series titled Extraordinary Beliefs, presented by Jeremy Kenyon Lockyer Corbell, made it to the headlines after releasing the now famous Pyramid UFO video, ostensibly taken by the crew of the USS Russell of San Diego in July 2019. Furthermore, he made public images of an object seemingly hovering above the USS Omaha before descending into the water in that same month. Now, Corbell published the images confirmed by the Pentagon as being genuine on his website, ExtraordinaryReliefs.com. And the footage echoes similarly authentic videos of encounters by USS Nimitz fighter jets in 2004, as well as sightings of unidentified craft in 2015. And referred to as the Pentagon UFO videos, the visuals are recorded of uh, cockpit instrument displays from U.S. Navy fighter jets themselves, jets based uh, aboard the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz and USS Theodore Roosevelt in 2004, 2015, and 2015, which were leaked to the public. The three grainy black and white videos created a furrier in the media in 2017, and in September 2019, the Pentagon spokesperson confirmed that the videos were made by naval aviators themselves and were part of a larger issue of an increased number of training range incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena in recent years. Subsequently, the U.S. Department of Defense formally released the videos in 2020. Seemingly feeding into Jeremy Corbell's current claims is the fact that all of the leaked UFO videos confirmed as genuine by the Department of Defense Pentagon have occurred over the sea. The filmmaker refers to the USS Nimitz encounter where Commander David Fravor, a fighter pilot from the strike group, first witnessed the so-called tic-tac-shaped object hovering above an ocean disturbance or boiling water in November 14, 2004. 
that's what it looked like as it was coming out of the sea. Corbell said there was an object under the water and it appeared to be cross-shaped and it was right under the water where the Tic Tac UFOs were descending to and they were dropping in from above 80,000 feet all the way down to the sea level in less than a second without a sonic boom, Corbell explained. He cites witnesses of the encounter as apparently describing the craft descending and docking. He, point out, he pointed out they were docking somehow informationally maybe with whatever was happening in the water or under the water. And according to him, other explanations have also been offered by officials in an attempt to figure out where they're coming from, such as another planet. He says, uh, Corbell said, that's one of the op uh, options that's definitely on the table. But importantly, there was this implication that there might be a base or location like an embassy that they could go and maybe fuel up their starships. Who knows? I'm speculating jokingly. I have no idea, Corbell said. So they seem to be heading out from the underwater area and into the underwater area. This is by Svetlana Kimenko of Sputnik News. This is not only in the U.S. this is happening, by the way. It's also happening on the east coast of the U.S. And um, we are expecting on June 1st, June 1st this year to have a UFO disclosure of these uh, UFOs. And then John Radcliffe will come out and comment on the disclosures that are coming out as they come out slowly. Please tell me what you think, and thank you so much for your support.